Name a player who could get traded. Coming up here right now on NFL Daily, we're going to break down and get into an NFL trade mailbag. So if you got a crazy crate crate idea trade idea in your head go ahead use hashtag trade or you can super chat to get your questions on the show crushed apples <laughs> okay should the falcons blow it up and trade matt ryan and julio jones i mean if you're gonna blow it up i guess this is the way to do it look the falcons have to make some decisions they do okay. i mean they're first starting with dan this Quinn. is the ultimate and then also if you fire dan quinn do you move on from your two cornerstone pieces and Matt Ryan and Julio Jones? We talked about Julio Jones on our big name trade candidate segment. And look, I think it's still a long shot. It's a tough contract to trade. Agreed. But at what point do you have to just recognize the window's closed? I think we're there with Atlanta. I think that core group with, you know, Freeman back in the day, he's long gone. That defense being solid, Matt Ryan being an MVP type of quarterback, those days are in the past. I think you have to consider moving on from your core players and getting some draft assets here if you are the Atlanta Falcons. Continue to use hashtag trade or you can super chat to get your questions featured here on the show. Power hitter 427, who do you see Seattle going after any big names other than Ryan Kerrigan? I think Carlos Dunlap's a player that could make some sense. If you consider uh, this isn't a trade, but like a Clay Matthews just still could say, make some Clay. sense. Um, Especially it'll be the interesting to, to see over the next couple of weeks which, you know, losing teams that Irving. have legitimate pass rushers could be available on the market, right? Like, yep. could a guy, uh, you know, could a guy on, I'm trying to think of a team, like, could, uh, who's a bad team that has good pass rushers? Tack McKinley, that's another good name. Thank you, Tom. Player about, like that. What about this? This is going to be Daniel risky. Hunter? This is going to be risky. What about a player in, like, a Vic Beasley who – Showed up out of shape in camp. We know he's got some talent. Not playing whatsoever with the Titans. I'd rather go sign Clay Matthews. Oh, I agree. But, hey, just going to throw out an idea. Mitchell Wren's burner account. Trade Derek Carr. It's time for him to go. Well, I don't know how you found this picture of me in college. Hey, but Raider Nation's not happy. I get it. And, I mean, Derek, you know, the Raiders, they're 2-2 two and two this year. He's got four fumbles, eight touchdowns. Right now, Carr's on pace for 32 touchdowns, no interceptions, on pace to have a career year in completion and yards. However, and I say this however, it's been seven years of Derek Carr. He's got a 41-57 career record with the Raiders. It's just you're not going to trade him because how many teams out there are going to want to go out and trade for Carr? The more likely scenario is – you move on from them next year. It's going to cost the Raiders only two point five million. You save nine. Am I the only one who's getting annoyed with Carr too, with the way he's talking? Like, say, oh, I'm so tired of this crap, this losing, the you know, the way things are going in this organization. It's like, dude, you're the quarterback. Fix it. It's also like, figure it out. It's not just on Carr. I mean, of that defense not. has been historically bad for the last seven years. Just, it's just not good whatsoever. Super chat time from David. What up, my man? Was Ziggy and probably Kawan out? Who's out there? I'll tell you what. After watching the Eagles game, you're going to have to figure out some players to be able to plug and play. But when, as soon as you went out and got Ziggy Anza, you couldn't honestly expect the fact of him trying to be healthy. And then with Kawan being out there, again, I mean, you're looking at two players that have not been able to stay healthy. Yeah, I mean, look, the 49ers just continue to be decimated. I mean, that, that, that's been the story of their season is this is a top five roster when fully healthy, but Anza's done. You got uh, uh, Quattro, he's out as well. So, I mean, you just got to plug and play. Like, that's kind of been the name of the game in the NFL. A lot of teams have had to deal with this. Certainly San Francisco more than others. But, uh, David, you, sh you, you, you get Jimmy G back, you're going to be okay. I, I think that's going to make a big difference. You would have won that Philadelphia game with Jimmy Garoppolo. Yep. Got to get him healthy, and then hopefully the defense comes around as well when it comes to injuries. David, I know you're subscribed to the 49ers channel. Thomas Mott does a great job over there. It's the number one 49ers show on YouTube. He answers a lot of questions of a lot more in-depth, I would say, on that team. Go ahead and subscribe, all 49ers fans, youtube.com slash 49ers TV. Ryan Wilson, Chris Harris for Joe Tooney. Michael Davis has been playing very well. That's an interesting swap, Harris, because they're kind of – I mean, Harris is hurt right now. Yeah, if he's fully healthy, that's similar value though, right? I'd say they're both in like that third-round range at their respective positions. Uh, I think Justin Herbert could benefit from a quality offensive lineman. But no doubt. Also, Chris Harris is on a nice contract. So – I mean, 
It's yeah. interesting, but they're also down a secondary member as well with uh, Derwin James yep. uh, injured this season. So I don't really think the Chargers. Would I mean, also, do the Patriots need more help in the second? I mean, if there's one place that the Patriots are pretty solid, it's in the secondary. True. Bobby Owens get a picture. Could Mitch Trubisky get traded if full starts balling out? Well, we already made a video. Tell them where they can get it. YouTube.com slash Bears now. I see a lot of you fan guy, or Bears fans already ready to go back to Trubisky after one bad start from Nick Foles. It's going to be snip, snap, sip, snip, snap all season long. Is it possible? Yes. Am I convinced Foles is going to ball out the next month to make that a reality? Not really. <laughs> like, so we'll see what happens moving forward. I'll say this. Mitch Trubisky and Nick Foles, neither is the long-term answer. Maybe Nick Foles is a short-term answer for this year and maybe next year, but you got to find a future, a quarterback for the future if you're Chicago. Who's your favorite NFL daily host? If it's Mitchell Renz, type M. If it's Harrison Graham, type M. If it's Tom Downey, type M. <laughs> Dallas, trade Justin Simmons. Trade for, trade Justin. for Justin Simmons. I'd love to see it. I so think would it a lot would of Dallas sense. fans. I mean, you go out and make this trade, you never hear ET ever again. I don't know about you. But Darian Thompson sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Darian Thompson is bad at football, and quite frankly, it's not like Xavier Woods is a beast either. He would instantly be not only your best safety, your best member of your secondary. I mean, You've got Dallas has one turnover in four games. If the Cowboys they've needed the ball, if the Cowboys once. needed a safety, they would obviously go out and get one, right? I mean, this hasn't been a problem. Yeah, I mean, they've been lock, they, they've been rock solid at safety for the past half decade, right, Tom? Right. Next question flowing in here and again. Make sure that you're using hashtag trade or you can super chat like 10. What up, my man? We cut Josh Klein just to start garbage F-line and Samaya. Should the Vikings keep or trade way for the next season? Bar overpaid, Yannick Ngakwe, Harris, and Reef. Um, a, a lot of Vikings A lot of stuff. information in there. I think you got to see how the next few weeks go. I don't think the Vikings are as bad as their record says, one and three. Cousins has stunk early on in the year. I mean, that's you your problem. Play you better against, yeah. Kurt play Cousins. better against the Texans. You, yeah, you let go of all your defensive guys to to extend Cousins. You didn't even have to. He was still under contract. <laughs> I know. You could have kept some of those guys. So I, let's see what happens the next couple of weeks. I don't think they're out of the mix yet. Ryan H. Kerrigan to Vegas for a third and a seventh. I mean, t to be frank with you. If I'm the Raiders, this is a move I would at least look into. And they need secondary, though, man. I'll they need this. they need a defense. They're not getting any pressure whatsoever. I mean, yeah. you're looking at a team in 2018 had 13 sacks. Last year had 32. I believe right now they have only four sacks in four games. I mean, they are getting no pressure whatsoever on the quarterback. Yes, the secondary stinks, but it stinks because the quarterbacks have all day to throw. So you mean if, Max Crosby is not going to have ten and a half sacks again this year? I mean, he is actually on pace for a double digit. Oh, sacks. is he? Yeah. Well, I guess he's got, I guess he's got all their sacks. <laughs> he's got three. So uh, yes, Max is playing better, but you got to go out and figure out a way how you can get some extra pass rush. The only issue here with this is the Raiders want a younger team. Yeah. Kerrigan's not really on pace for that. So, uh, but yeah, it has been Cleveland, has been Carl Nassib. Raiders definitely need some help. JTH Jets wide receiver Chris Hogan could be an interesting piece that could strengthen a contender. My Disagree. favorite lacrosse player in the NFL. Uh, um, Chris Hogan is not going to be a contender. He's not going to. No. Tom Brady made Chris Hogan relevant. Let's just end it at that. Like I mean, he might be the number one receiver for the Jets, but that's not saying a lot. And, and he's I mean, not because they have Jamison Crowder. I mean, true. And the Jets also signed Chris Hogan. It was literally like a week before the season started. That's just not good. Chris Hogan <laughs> has 98 yards. The Jets are a disaster. Let's. I mean, I can't believe that they continue to put out this hot garbage for Sam Darnold. Their best player on offense is a as a rookie tackle in Mackay Becton. Which, by the way, they played him injured against the Broncos, and he almost got killed. Good job, Adam Gase. Good job. Fire Adam Gase. If you guys love NFL trades, please subscribe to Chat Sports. We're going to be doing a lot more trade videos because the deadline is right around the corner. Why is it on November 3rd? I'm not quite sure. I don't really think anything else is going on November 3rd. Yeah, but, hey. Pretty if, open day on my calendar. Um, if you guys like NFL trades, if they're – Breaking news happens around trades. We'll make videos around them. But I promise you, a lot more trade videos coming here on this channel. Get a few more questions flowing in here. And if you want to get your questions on the show, you can super chat. Rashard Lee, Zach Ertz, the Patriots for a third and a sixth. The value feels close-ish, maybe See, a my second. Only my only concern there is not only are you giving up a third and a sixth, then you're also going to have to pay Zach Ertz because whoever goes out and trade for him, 
they're going to have to go out and give him a top contract. He's under contract through 2021, but he wants a deal now. I, I think he's a, a holdout candidate next year for whoever he's playing for if he doesn't have a new deal. The problem is, is he thinks he's George Kittle and Travis Kelsey, and he's not. Nope. And teams know he's not. Like, he's just not – he's a t he's the, in but that it's, second that's not tier. A that's not, like, uh, that's not, not hating on thing. Zach Ertz. It's just there's nobody close to no, Kittle and Kelsey. You can't, but you can't pay a tier two tight end tier one money. That's the point I'm making. It's the same thing with running backs. Like, you pay the top guys. You pay the Christian McCaffreys. You don't pay the Le'Veon Bells. Look what happened with the Jets. That's just the way that goes, and I think it's going to be similar with tight ends. Cameron Hunt, you're next up here. Pats for Hollister, six. Though, Jacob Peyton, Hollister. I would say. Um, I mean. He's, what, the third tight end right now for the Seattle Seahawks? Conditional sixth, maybe. I, I mean, he's fine. He's serviceable, but he's not a starter. He might be a starter on that team. <sighs> I guess. Name, name the tight ends on the Patriots. Ask me a different question. Exactly. I mean, there's nobody whatsoever. 